Hello everybody, this is Frogman, and welcome back to Manufactio. This is going to be episode number two. Done a few things in between episodes, and I figured I would kind of start over here first with this little circle that we found in the first one. Uh, just as a kind of a way to show you guys what this means. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this, but this is usually an indicator of something down here that we may want to find eventually. I already found what I wanted, but I kind of wanted to see what this one was. So uh, this is generation that will usually indicate an ore type or deposit that is going to be either diamonds or emeralds. So the fun part is, is you get to do the thing that you really don't like to do in Minecraft, which is, um, you know, dig straight down. Come on. Cool. I'm safe. Let's see what we get probably going to be down a bit. I spent the last couple of days just kind of gathering resources and picking up uh, wood types that I needed and doing a bit of exploring because I was actually trying to find cactus of all things. Deserts, at least in this world, seem to be kind of few and far between. All right, cool. That wasn't all that far down. But yeah, you can usually dig down and find either diamonds or emeralds in these things. And it's a usually a pretty quick, easy way of finding them so that you can mine them up later with your miners. So let me grab the rest of this, even though I don't really need it now. I've had mines running for a good period of time now. I've got lots of iron and lots of coal and lots of copper and lots of that other wonderful stuff that we need in order to be able to progress. So, oh yeah, I already have these. I will show you how or where I found those in just a little bit. Let me grab this stuff while I'm here because it's still usable. That's enough. Let's get out of this hole. Yesterday, or the day before, I forget which, I was looking for a quick, easy way to get a hold of some lead because I need to be able to make bullets and well there's a let's see right over here there's this cave that we started looking in before and there wasn't anything in here however there is a ravine right here right here right here right over here and I figured I would jump down in that ravine and see what I could find and right about where that water puddle is, there was a Mousy's Mob diamond crab just hanging out stuck in that water. He couldn't get out of it. He couldn't do anything. So basically, I kind of just ninja jumped off the side of this thing and landed right on top of him and killed him and got the diamonds that I needed. So I set up a monitor, miner miner over, over here, I think, behind spawn. It's just to the north of where I have my base set up. So... Got some diamonds, got some tools, got a few things going. I also made an item magnet because I found some gold and a few other things. So very, very handy tool. Very handy tool. So let's go over here and check things out. I uh, did get some spruce pr trees planted. Planted a few of these. Uh, I think these are maples. Yeah. I really like the way that wood looks. It's nice. And I have a miner over there that is currently shut off that's doing copper. And I moved the iron and coal miners over to here. They are currently shut off because I'm trying to kind of avoid a bunch of pollution. And I kind of built a little bitty workshop, work area kind of thing. Not a whole lot, just something to kind of get out of the rain when it rains and have a nice little flat area to work in. I went ahead and made a bunch of furnaces, I went ahead and made a bunch of hoppers, and I have them all automated so that they drop down into here aside from the coal production. And behind here I kind of built a little bitty, I guess, crop area farm just so that I can start getting the industrial hemp. Whoop, missed. Because we need a lot of it. And I figured since I had the furnaces right here, why not just go ahead and use the chimney mod bricks and pumps to pull the carbon out of here, or so the carbon deposits or carbon emissions out from behind the furnaces and deposit in here where it can actually do some good. So I have been slowly farming wheat and sugarcane, even though I don't really think I need that right now, and of course the industrial hemp. 
how I'm doing this is right here, these are chimneys. These are attached to the back of the uh, furnaces, and there's a bunch of furnace or chimneys right here. And then I have a hole up here where the pollution can go. And then the vents grab it, drag it out here, and then they just slowly leak out over the rest of the crops and make for a little bit of extra bone meal action going on. So that's cool. And I guess since I have this, just toss it in that one. And grab all that. And put it in here. Okay. And we put the diamonds away. Cool. And I need to shut that off. There we go. Now I can sort. All right. What I want to do today is I need to get science going. I need to get red science specifically going so that I can get the automation done, the steel processing, and, well, this is going to be a ways. But I need some of this stuff going right here. I need the basic electronics, and I believe we can get logistics, at least one opened up, which will help with some of the other things that come with that. That'll get us all the IE belts. That'll get us a bunch of the other stuff. So we need to work on a laboratory. I actually need to work on red science. So it wants one red science. Well, red science should be pretty simple and easy to make. Let's see how much do we have. Let's grab all of that. Grab a little more iron because I'm going to need a bunch. And you can get out of there and you can get out of there. And to make science, where is it? There it is. It's pretty simple. At least to start off, it's pretty simple. So we need a few gears. So I'll just make a few gears. And I'm going to make it this way because I have lots of copper. So we'll get about, I don't know, 20 of those. And there we go. That. Ding, ding. Hello. There we go. Gets us a common loot bag that probably doesn't have. Ooh, hey, I'll take that. I was going to say, probably doesn't have anything in it. Um, next step is to craft all of the components that are needed to be able to make a laboratory. So we need machine controllers, outputs, inputs, uh, energy input hatches, blocks of iron, and machine casing. So let's start with the machine casing. So at modular, the machine casings require a basic control circuit. Basic control circuits are copper wires, which we can make a bunch of those. So let's just make a bunch of those. Start with that, and I should be able to do that. Cool. That got all the wires used up. And then finally, we need to make some machine casings. I'm just going to go ahead and make all of them except, I think, for one. Because I need one, or two, two, good deal. Oh, nuts, I forgot that. Let's do that. That won't take long. We can make the other parts going on. Now, I did go ahead in between episodes and do factory basics, both the intense melting and the basic logistics, just so that I can get this part of the step going, because I need this, at least one of these. So, did I make any belts? Where are those belts? I also did a bunch of exploring, found a whole bunch of junk. While I was looking for cactus, I had to go two or three thousand blocks that way to go find cactus. There we go. So, we put those in there. That's a tiny item output. Right? Yep. And then an input is that. An energy hatch should be this. And then it needs a bunch of iron blocks again. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And I should have my glass mostly ready to go by now. Excellent. Make some glass panes. Make the user interface. Make the controller. And I think the only thing left after that, good lord is my inventory full of junk, is... A bunch of iron bars, right? Yep. 
Ding, ding. All right. I am going to, I was going to put it over here. Basically, my idea is going to be I'm going to try to capture as much of the pollution as I possibly can early game so I don't have a mess everywhere. So eventually, almost every structure is going to have some kind of a carbon mitigation thing like this. So for right now, let's just build this guy right. Well, we'll just put him down right over here. And should be input on this side, output on that side, and casing, 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 energy, controller, casing, casing, and then the iron bars. And finally, the block of iron. Yay. Cool. That worked. All right. Next step. We need to be able to power that thing. So that is going to be part of the next quest, which is powering up. So I need to be able to make two coal generators. Some LV wires and LV relays and some more LV wire. So, I should have plenty of hardened stone, which I do. And I think that would be all I need to do this. So, let's look at the coal gen. Which is going to be a couple of furnaces. So, I can make two of those. Put those in here. And two coal generators. All right. Now, the next thing is we need to make some LV wire connectors, relays, and wire. So the connectors are pretty simple. We'll just grab that many for right now. Actually, no, let's grab two. And grab one of those. And again, need to make a bunch of this. So let's do 12 and a stick, which I have sticks. Good deal. All righty. Ding, ding, and some fuel. This guy on the back, that is the power connector. So what I want to try to do is make this so I'm not going to hurt myself right off the bat playing with it. So let's do something like this. And hook the wires up to there there and I'm going to go ahead and toss that in for right now I have to make a whole bunch more of that and immediately we start doing this and you should be processing and making science wonderful all right I guess I can uh, use these two th actually I think I'm gonna want these we don't need this just yet Cool. So that'll cook for a little bit, and then we're making red science. So cool. All right. Next part is that should be here to here to here. Biogenerator is the next step to be able to make a lot of fuel, which is kind of the reason why I'm going to start mitigating things, because these are good, but they don't make a lot of power, and they don't scale very well. Plus, they run all the time regardless of whether you, know, you tell them whether they have a draw of power or not. So you actually have to shut them off in order for them to not run constantly. So before I get too far into those, I need to get moving into the next step of power. But I'm not going to do that right now. So steel processing requ requires 25 research. So I put 19 in that. I need to make about, I don't know, as much more as I can. So red research. Make a bunch more, whoops, make a bunch more gears. And get some more iron. Another piece of copper. Let's do, I don't know, just make as many as it'll let me, I guess, huh? There we go, that's all right. More copper. 42 should get me a little ways. Basically, I'm just going to run that. I'm going to let it sit there and run. I'm going to let it make science. 
so that once it's done, I can get some of these other deals going because I need steel. I want diamond drill heads. And in order to get that, you need steel gears. So I, I want diamond drill heads because that makes miners run consistent considerably faster. You get more resources per coal, which means at this point I'm going to be using less fuel to get more resources, which is good. And the, the you get more resources per pollution, which I'm starting to have a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. This guy, he's just going to sit there and do that too. I need to kind of watch this and remember where this pollutes from because I think it actually pollutes from this block and that block, that block, that block, and that block, which is going to be fun. Anyhow, put that away. I don't need these boots right now. Doing well on that, and I guess I'm going to put the food away. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Mm -mm, excuse me. I can use this. I can hold it. I can't make ammo for it, but I can use it. So, while we wait on that part, maybe I should just go ahead and make the biogen. So, let's see if we can make another one of these. Whoops. Furnace. That's four of those. That's wonderful. A biogenerator. is a coal generator, cauldron, and some glass. Which I guess I need to make some more glass. Wonderful. Anyhow, coal generator, bad bot, there we go. Cauldron, let's get a couple of these. And just waiting on a couple of pieces of glass now. Thank you. Two of these guys, we have plenty of iron. Put the glass in here. One, what am I missing? Iron, glass, I put glass in here. Oh, I didn't make these, did I? Nuts. I'm sure I didn't make them. Yep, one, two. One, two. All right, the biogenerator is the beginning of that. We also need to have... Input items for both input item input output items and a machine controller for both of them. So again, back to modular. We'll do it this direction this time. Click on. Whoops. No, I want that, which is this. I should have made another one. Ha. Huh? Now I should be good. One, two, and that in there, one, two, and then I need the input, two, output, output, that output, there we go, one, two, and the two inserters that I have, so that should, yay, awesome, all right, and that got me some important stuff for later, whoop, Where is my weed eater? Come here, weed eater. There's my weed eater. Come on. There we go. How are we doing? All right. Get one of these set up, or at least two of them set up. I need to face the power that way. That's not the way I want it. was weird. <laughs> climb the tree. Why did I climb the tree? Oh, dynamic trees are so fun. On the back of it, please. Piece of wire. And then all I need to do is put this stuff together here. Drop those down. I do need that. I don't know why I put it up there. Okay. Input should be in the center, output right there, controller on top with an inserter, 
facing that way. Yep, cool. Now, we'll just toss some of this junk in here. It will process it slowly. Pick up the biofuel, put it in the bio generator. It starts making... Oh, hey, he's got a gun. Hello. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll just fix my clothes. There we go. And as we can hear, it's running. That guy will slowly fill up, which I should probably go ahead and just grab some of this garbage that I have laying around. Where is, do I have any hoppers? I don't think I have any hoppers. Let's make a hopper. One will be fine. Do I have room for that apple? Yes, I do. And that's why I've been saving all this garbage. Because now, I have a fairly simple, easy way of making fuel, or making power. Ow. But all I have to do is just toss crap in it. Just junk. No, I want that. And that will just sit there and produce. And I will get the second one set up later. Right now, this generator is all that needs to run. I want to wait until this is mostly full of fuel. How much fuel do we have in us right now? We have 580, 530. Once that fills up a little ways, I will be taking both of these and putting them away. Actually, what I want to do while I'm sitting here is, where is my ore scanner? And I'm going to put him in here and hopefully charge it back up. Very good. All right. I don't need that. I don't need that. This magnet's wonderful. Don't need that. Well, I guess it probably... Eh, we'll leave it in there for right now. I'll clean things up. For anybody wondering how you get vanilla saplings, you craft yourself a dirt bucket. Which... Eh. Oh, come on. Dirt bucket. Which is just the dirt in a bucket. And then you use this to craft the saplings... And also, I believe there's one other special recipe in here. Apple pips. If you're having problems with food, you take an apple, this gets planted on a tree, and it will grow into an apple. Or more. I forget exactly how much. And then to get the bucket back, you just place the dirt down. So, good enough. How are we doing? 19 left. We needed 20 to do some science, so let's do some science. Yes, steel processing, 25. Claim, thank you. Basic automation, please. Claim. Awesome. How much do I have left? Seven. In order to get the next one I want, I need 30. I don't have 30. Need to make some more. Where? Yeah, let's just grab a bunch of that, make a bunch more. Starting to get stuff filled up in here. I guess I can put that out of here. All right, so gear. We'll use that recipe. That's a stack of gears. Put some of this in here. One, two. That, that will get me excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We'll just put that in there for right now. Hello, lag. There we go. Thank you. Make a chest, I suppose. I took the wood out. There's the wood. Give me a chest. There we go. Awesome. All right, I'm going to clean out my inventory here real quick. Redstone fuel goes in here. The wood also goes in there. More junk goes down here. I need to put this guy somewhere because I'm definitely going to be setting it up shortly. And I will put that away. Did I get all the junk out of here that I wanted to get rid of? Yes. Okay. And the iron bars can go away. Again, 
I'm going to have to wait on that. So, what else can we do while we're staring here? What's standing here waiting on things? Logistics, 20. Actually, that is the one I do want. Processing, I'm going to have to get into this very shortly. How much is that? 20. Power, we'll work on that in a little while. Military. I did go ahead and claim that one because it's just a, hey, this is something you can do. 10 research. I don't know if I want zombie villagers and skeletons. Yet. Lights. Lights are 10. Hmm. Might have to do that in a little while. I guess I'll be waiting on that for a little while. A, I had to go get cactus, which is not growing very well, but I had to go get cactus to kind of beat out the Serene Seasons mod for being able to grow plants constantly. In order to be able to grow plants constantly, they have to be built in and around a building that has greenhouse glass, either in the top or in the sides or, or both. And that required cyan, dye, and lapis. And the only way you can get that is with cactus. So I can do that now. I have plans to run a lot of this base off of biogenerated fuels, either through the immersive engineering process or a bunch of those or the new biogenerator that has been put into the pack, which means I need a lot of this kind of stuff, and I need it to grow all the time. As you can see, the sugarcane's not growing anymore because I'm probably betting it's getting close to fall. The oak trees are no longer green anymore, so let's actually here... Uh, at seasons, there should be a season clock, which is just something I can't make at all right now. I have a feeling that I'm getting close to fall and it's fixed. It's going to start snowing pretty soon. So that is going to cause most of the crops to stop growing. The immersive engineering, what is this, industrial hemp grows pretty much all the time. And this is something I'm going to need an absolute load of. So, and it's mainly because of this right here. You can't see it. I don't know if I can show it. Let's see. It is in the carpenter, this carpenter recipe. This is the covered wiring. That's the only way you can get it. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Where are we? I doubt very seriously it's produced, uh, what is it, 11? No, but I got 20. Let's see what we can do for the time being. Sure, please. Oh, I want that one. Detect. Claim. Awesome. That is going to get me all of the belts that I want. All of the belts. Now I have the dropping belts, the splitting, or the dropping belts, the climbing belts, the splitting belts, the extracting belts, and all of the covered ones. So that is going to make automating things considerably easier. And now that I have blast furnaces, that means I have steel, and I also have faster smelting than that. So that means automation. That means time to be crazy, time to start building furnaces, setups, fun stuff. So... I believe I also unlocked, I didn't unlock that one, but I did unlock this one, which gives me the access to the basic assembler, which will make automating at least the base science very simple, because, let's see, it's only a two-step process where I have to make an iron gear. Copper ingots are just made in you know, furnaces. So a basic assembler, where is he? Right here. He's just going to do this. So I need to be able to make gears, which I can make in a basic assembler with a metal press, which requires iron, or excuse me, steel, but all of that is makeable now. So theoretically, I can make or automate red science completely. All I have to do is bring all of these ores into a smelting area, produce, er, process them, push them through some kind of a storage system, and out into a array that will just continuously make science, at least on the reds. So maybe, maybe by next time, I might have all of that set up and ready to go. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. 
I did get all of the exploring that I needed done, at least I think for right now. I went quite a ways <laughs> looking for that. So, awesome. All right. I think with that, guys, I will end this here. I just wanted to kind of get you guys caught up on what was going on, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.